Well, hey there, everybody. It's Joy Packard. Um, it's another late night here in Houston. It's 11.07 p.m. And um, usually I'm heading to bed and everything, but I, I think I'm still on Utah time. We just had an awesome trip this past week. Those of you who have been following, we went to Utah, had an awesome trip with my children up there who live, who live there. We have like, um, well, let's see, four of our children who live there now. So there's always reasons to, to visit there. So this evening I wanted to, before I headed to bed, I thought, you know, I, I, uh, I try and do some of my videos whenever I have the time during the day, but lately it just seems like uh, the days have been very, very busy. So I thought I would do one now. For those of you who are just joining, I'm just testing out a new microphone. Can you let me know if that you can hear me or not? Hi, Luann. How you doing? Just type a yes or something so to let me know that you can hear, and that would be great. Um, or raise your hand or thumbs up or something to let me know that you can hear um, new microphone. So um, one of the things that, that um, thank you, appreciate that. Good. It's a good, a new microphone is supposed to be used to help you hear better, and I, I love listening to videos where I can hear good quality. So... One of the things I wanted to share with you, you know, as you know, as I, I, I am preparing my Amazon newbie course, but I am also going to be doing a personal development retreat in the future. And so I'm preparing you guys for all of that. Hi, Lena. How you doing? I still need to do my post in your group. I've, I've been so busy, but I, I have that on my list to do. So one of the things that um, I just wanted to to share with you is the things that I do the night before to prepare for the next day and also just to kind of wind down and I would love to hear your comments later on you know as we go through this little chat and won't be a very long video um, but just some things that we can do to um, wind down and to, to prepare for the next day and so those of you who have been following along know that I have fallen in love with this five minute journal and for those of you who have not received that or ordered yours yet, you should. Just You can just get it on Amazon.com. Again, it's the five-minute journal. And a lot of you have already bought it. And what I like to do at the end of my day is I'm here in my closet, for one thing. Um, this is kind of like, I know that sounds weird, but it's like kind of my serenity area. I've got my serenity rock going on here. Um, let's see. See? That's not a very, a very good view. But... Um, I, I, I come in here because it's quiet and I, and I go to an uninterrupted uninter space to where maybe the kids, it will take a little longer for them to find me here. <laughs> so I stay in here and I, before the evening is done, it's quiet. As you can see, they're all the, all the kids are down. My husband just fell asleep and um, I take out my five minute journal. And, and, and for those of you who, um, who have one, know what it's about and it's really really awesome and at the end of the day end of the day the two things that it talks about is three amazing things that happened today and you write them down and how could I have made today better and you know the three amazing things that happened today sometimes we think that it has to be something like miraculous you know like it has to be something that is just so out of the ordinary to write it down and it can be as simple as Today, I, I was headache free. You know, for those of you who have been following um, for the last month, I, I had some really bad cases of some bad headaches and we were trying to figure everything out. But, you know, I would write that down. The three amazing things that was an amazing thing for me and what could be amazing for you, for those of you, you know, it could be just as much as waking up. I remember a long time ago, I had um, a case of pneumonia. It's an atypical pneumonia and nobody knew what was wrong with me. And they did all this testing and everything. And I remember waking up thinking, I am so grateful to be able to be breathing today and waking up to this beautiful day. And so, you know, sometimes we take those things for granted and what we are grateful for when we, when we think about that, th that and put it in our mind that we are, you know, grateful for, it, it helps us to have a grateful attitude. And those of you who study gratitude and how important that is in your life, it, 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 it just does something for you. Um, though, you know, the last part of the section where it talks about how could I have made today better? And it helps you, it helps you um, evaluate your day from the time that you woke up all the way down, you know, all the way to the end of the night. And you realize, you know, Maybe there was something that I could have done better. Maybe I didn't exercise or maybe I didn't drink my green juice or whatever it is in your life, how you could have made that day better. 
And so what I do with this journal is, one of the things I do anyway, is I take that, what I could have made better for my day to day. And if I didn't get to it, whether it was maybe to spend some time with one of my kids or to go visit my mother, if my mom's watching this, she knows that I'm, I'm wanting to go visit her tomorrow. But we evaluate our life and we evaluate, you know, um, <clears throat> yes, Lena, that's very true. I mean, whenever you're focused on gratitude and you're focusing on, on your blessings, it's really hard to think about the things that we don't have. You know, if we focus on the things that we do have, it's like we, we, we are very abundantly blessed, I guess, and we're focused on the good. And so, um, that's what I do. I, I, and then, and then I, um, I kind of think about, you know, the three things that I need to get done the next day, the things that I have to get to where, um, you know, I, I have these, if I can get these three things done tomorrow, then I'll feel so good, you know, and it could be something as simple as creating a meal for somebody and bringing it to them and doing some kind of service project for somebody. And so, you know, um, Sometimes we feel like we have to have this big old long list to feel accomplished. And that's not it at all. When I first got married, I remember my husband and I would make this to-do list and we would have, you know, 20 things that we felt like we had to do. And we were really go-getters. You know, we'd have to read, read from another book, read our scriptures and do all these things. But really in reality, you know, if we do some good every single day, we're doing really good. And that could be as much as, you know, those of you who are young mothers um, whenever my kids were younger, um, you know, if I could have just, if I could make it just through the day, I think I was doing good. You know, my kids are older now, so I have more time, you know, and to do the things that I, I like to do. And, you know, I travel more, I, you know, do things that I love to do, but it depends on, you know, that there, there, this is going to have to be another video that's titled, you know, there's a time and season for everything. Because I remember when I was a younger mother, and I was thinking that, you know, my days were just filled with changing diapers and nursing and, and doing things like, you know, that's what I wake up to and that's what I'm going to sleep to. And I felt so unaccomplished. And as I look back on those years, I think, you know, those were some of the most important years that made, made my kids who they are today. I don't think we realize the impact that we have on our children or if you're not a mother, the impact that you have on people that you are you know, influencing with what, what you do and what you say, because whether we know it or not, people are watching us and the people are watching our examples and they are watching what we do. Um, you know, the other day I was at a Walmart and I remember there was a person in front of me and it, you know, the person behind him had a couple of items and the person in front offered just to pay for the, the persons. And I, it was just so, you know, an act of kindness and it was really, um, really, really awesome you know, to see goodness in the world. And I think that, um, I think that we, um, are so busy sometimes that we forget to do the kindness that, you know, we should be doing anyway. So that's what I do. That's what I do for my night. I do my grateful journal and I, I make my list of the three things, not the 20, the three things that if I would get this done tomorrow, that I would feel happy and I would feel accomplished because sometimes we don't give ourselves credit. You know, we feel like if we don't get this many, many hundreds of things done that we have failed. And, and the one thing that I, I would love to encourage you to do is to not feel like you have to get so many things done to feel so accomplished. Right, Lena. And, you know, I, I've learned this particular technique from somebody called Shalene Johnson. I've been to, and many of you know who she is. She's an, an exercise um, person, and she also does um, a lot of business seminars. And I had the opportunity to meet her in Dallas several years ago at one of her seminars. So um, it's changed my life. And this journal, um, I don't go a day without doing it. And it has really, really helped me. And I, that's why, you know, I don't get anything from promoting it to you. I just wanted to share, I guess, what I know and the goodness that it can be. And that's right. You can finish. Yeah. You basically, um, and whatever you don't finish that day, Lena is we can put it to the next day so that we don't feel like, Oh, I didn't get, you know, my list done today and then feel like a failure. We can say, great, you know, and we can shoot for three. And if we get one done, it's great. You know, as long as you're moving forward instead of backward, you know, 
And so um, it looks like my late night chats are like the time that I have the quietness. So I um, I hope that this helps you. And I think that, um, you know, it's something that all of us can implement as mothers, as wives, as husbands, as people, whoever you are, in whatever stage that you're in. And so um, I, I would love to hear, you know, some of the things that you guys do at night to help your days be better or whatever. But that was something that was on my mind. And those of you who follow me know that whenever it's on my mind, whether it's 1130 at night or 10 o'clock in the morning, I share it with you. Um, those of you who are not on my blog, it's at joypacker.com. It's just above here in, in the caption. Uh, feel free to join there and see some of the past videos that we talk about. Um, but my number one. <laughs> well, and so those of you also, those above you who, if you see a live subscribe button above, um, you can subscribe. And that way, when we have these awesome chats, I'd love to hear your opinions and your comments. And um, I love sharing with other people. I feel like, um, you know, if we can, we, we can um, share with each other the things that we know and um, the things that we know that we can help each other. Uh, Lena, feel free to share your group below. Um, I'm going to be actually posting in there soon. She has an awesome group for, for women who are fearless sisters. And um, I would love for you to share that as well. Um, so much goodness in the world. And Anyway, I, I hope you guys are having an awesome night. I'm missing my kids in Utah, but we are getting ready to um, get back to school for the two kids that I have here at home. And I hope you have an awesome, awesome night. And I hope that you can implement, oh, your group is secret. Okay, no problem. Um, so um, anyway, I um, I was just looking at when my, before I let you go, I was looking at my mini triathlon that's coming up. I thought it was October the 10th. It's actually October 1st. So I better get busy in my exercise. So anyway, it's an awesome, it's awesome to be home to Houston. We had an awesome time in Utah. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And I hope that these videos can help you in some way. That's what I love to do it for. I just love to help people. So thank you, Lena. I hope you guys have an awesome night. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Good night.